The Neapolitan Mastiff, commonly known as the Mastino Napolitano or simply the Neo Mastiff, has a fascinating origin rooted in ancient history. This powerful and distinctive breed traces its lineage back to ancient Rome and the molasses dogs used by the Roman army. The Neapolitan Mastiff's ancestors were war dogs and known for their formidable strength, loyalty, and guarding abilities. They were utilized in various roles, such as guarding property, protecting livestock, and even fighting in. As gladiators, these dogs were highly prized for their imposing size, impressive musculature, and protective instincts. As the Roman Empire expanded, these molasses dogs were spread across different regions, including the Naples region of Italy. It is in Naples that the breed we now know as the Neapolitan Mastiff began to take shape. They were primarily utilized as guard dogs for properties, estates, and farms, often protecting their owners' assets from often protecting their owners' assets from thieves and intruders. Over the centuries, the Neapolitan Mastiff faced various challenges and periods of decline. However, dedicated breed enthusiasts worked tirelessly to preserve and revive the breed, ensuring its survival. In the 1940s, a dedicated group of breeders led by Piero Scanziani began a focused breeding program aimed at restoring the Neapolitan Mastiff to its former glory. Their efforts paid off, and the breed gained recognition and and popularity in the mid-20th century. In 1949, the breed was officially recognized by the Italian Kennel Club, Ent Nazionale della Cinefilia Italiana. From there, the Neapolitan Mastiff's reputation as a loyal, protective, and loving companion. Continued to grow. Today, the Neapolitan Mastiff is celebrated for its massive size, loose and wrinkled skin, and distinctive appearance. It is a breed that commands respect and admiration due to its powerful build and protective nature. While still valued as a guard dog, the Neapolitan Mastiff has also found a place in many homes as a devoted and gentle family companion. The breed's rich history and ancient lineage have undoubtedly shaped its character and physical attributes. The Neapolitan Mastiff's origin as a guardian and protector has left an indelible mark on its temperament, making it a loyal and formidable companion to those it loves. The Neapolitan Mastiff is a large and robust breed, known for its impressive size and substantial build. Here are the average height and weight ranges for adult Neapolitan Mastiffs. Height Males, 26 to 30 inches, 66 to 76 centimeters, at the shoulder. Females, 24 to 28 inches, 61 to 71 centimeters, at the shoulder. Weight. Males, 150 to 200 pounds, 68 to 91 kilograms. Females, 110 to 150 pounds, 50 to 68 kilograms. Raising a dog involves providing them with a loving and nurturing environment while meeting their physical, social, and emotional needs. Here are some key aspects to consider when raising a dog. Provide a safe and comfortable home, ensure that your home is a safe and dog-friendly environment. Remove any hazards, secure potential escape routes, and create a designated space for your dog with a comfortable bed, food and water bowls, and appropriate toys. Proper nutrition. Feed your dog a balanced and nutritious diet that suits their age, size, and specific dietary requirements. Consult with a veterinarian to determine the best type and amount of food for your dog and establish a regular feeding schedule. Veterinary care. Schedule regular checkups with a veterinarian to monitor your dog's health, receive vaccinations, and address any concerns or potential issues. Keep up with vaccinations, deworming, flea and tick. Prevention, and any necessary medical treatments. Training and socialization. Enroll your dog in puppy classes or basic obedience training to establish good manners, teach essential commands, and foster a strong bond. Socialize your dog by exposing them to various people, animals, and environments from an early age to help them become well-adjusted and confident. Exercise and mental stimulation. Provide regular exercise to keep your dog physically fit and mentally stimulated. Daily walks. Playtime and interactive toys can help prevent boredom, alleviate destructive behaviors, and promote a healthy lifestyle. Grooming and hygiene. Establish a grooming routine based on your dog's specific needs. 
This may include brushing their coat, trimming nails, cleaning ears, and regular bathing. Additionally, maintain good dental hygiene by regularly brushing your dog's teeth. Love and attention, dogs thrive on love, attention, and positive reinforcement. Spend Uality time with your dog, engage in interactive play, and provide plenty of affection. Reward good behavior and avoid punishment-based training methods. Boundaries and consistency, establish clear boundaries and rules for your dogs. Behavior, and consistently enforce them. This will help them understand what is expected of them and contribute to their overall well-being. Patience and understanding, each dog is unique and may have individual needs and challenges. Practice. Patience, understanding, and empathy while working with your dog. Be prepared for setbacks, and seek professional help if needed. Remember, raising a dog is a long-term commitment. It requires dedication, time, and effort to ensure their well-being and happiness. With proper care, training, and love, you can create a strong and rewarding bond with your canine companion. Understanding a dog's emotions can be challenging since they communicate primarily through body language and behavior. However, certain signs and actions can give us insights into their emotional state. Here are some common indications of a happy or sad dog. Signs of a happy dog. Tail wagging, a wagging tail, often accompanied by a relaxed body posture, is a classic sign of a happy dog. The speed and intensity of the wag may vary based on the individual dog. Relaxed body language, a content and happy dog will have a relaxed body posture. Their muscles will be loose, and they may lie down with their belly exposed or playfully bounce around. Playfulness, dogs that are happy often engage in play behavior. They may playfully bark, initiate games, or exhibit a play bow posture, with their front legs extended and hindquarters raised. Bright eyes and relaxed facial expression, happy dogs usually have bright and alert eyes. Their facial muscles will be relaxed, and their mouth may be slightly open, showing a doggy smile. Eager appetite, a happy dog typically has a healthy appetite and will eat their food with enthusiasm. Signs of a sad or distressed dog. Withdrawal or lethargy, a sad dog may become withdrawn, showing less interest in their surroundings or activities. They may spend more time sleeping or lying down. Reduced appetite or weight loss, sad dogs may lose their appetite or show. A decreased interest in food. This can lead to weight loss if the behavior persists. Excessive vocalization or whining, Dogs in distress may exhibit increased vocalization, such as whining, whimpering, or howling. Avoidance or hiding, a sad dog. May avoid interaction or seek hiding places like under furniture or in a secluded corner. Changes in body language, dogs experiencing sadness or distress may display tense body language, including a lowered head, tucked tail, hunched posture. Neapolitan mastiffs are susceptible to certain diseases and health conditions. While not all Neapolitan Mastiffs will experience these ailments, it's important to be aware of potential health issues commonly associated with the breed. Some common diseases that can affect Neapolitan Mastiffs include Hip dysplasia, this is a genetic condition where the hip joint doesn't develop properly, leading to arthritis and mobility issues. Elbow dysplasia, similar to hip dysplasia, this condition affects the elbow joint and can cause lameness and pain. Cherry eye, Neapolitan mastiffs are prone to a condition called cherry eye, where the gland in the third eyelid protrudes, resulting in a red, swollen appearance. Entropian and ectropian, these are eyelid abnormalities where the eyelids turn inward, entropian, or outward, ectropian, leading to eye irritation and potential vision problems. Cardiac issues, Neapolitan mastiffs can be predisposed to certain Heart conditions, such as dilated cardiomyopathy, DCM, which affects the heart's ability to pump blood effectively. Gastric dilatation volvulus, GDV also known as bloat or twisted stomach, this condition occurs when the stomach fills with gas. And twists. It is a life-threatening emergency that requires immediate veterinary intervention. Skin infections, due to the wrinkles and skin folds, 
Neapolitan mastiffs may be more prone to skin infections, such as pyoderma or dermatitis. Hypothyroidism This condition arises when the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough hormones, leading to various symptoms like weight gain, lethargy, and skin issues. Osteosarcoma Neapolitan mastiffs have a higher incidence of bone cancer compared to some other breeds. Osteosarcoma is a malignant tumor that commonly affects the long bones. The diseases commonly seen in Neapolitan mastiffs are not typically contagious to humans. However, some conditions may have underlying causes or risk factors that can be shared between dogs and humans. For example, certain skin infections or, or parasites that affect Neapolitan mastiffs, such as ringworm or fleas, can be transmitted to humans. It's important to practice good hygiene and consult with a healthcare professional if you suspect any potential zoonotic infections. Regarding the treatment of specific diseases, it's essential to consult with a veterinarian for a proper diagnosis and guidance tailored to your dog's individual needs. Treatment options can vary depending on the disease or condition, and may include Medications In many cases, medication can help manage or alleviate symptoms associated with certain diseases. This may include pain relief, anti-inflammatory drugs, antibiotics for infections, or specific medications targeting the underlying condition. Surgery In some instances, surgical intervention may be necessary, such as in cases of hip dysplasia, cherry eye correction, or tumor removal. Supportive care Some diseases require ongoing supportive care to maintain the dog's, dog's quality of life. This can involve dietary management, physical therapy, or specialized treatments to address specific symptoms or complications. Preventive measures Preventive measures, such as regular vaccinations, flea and tick control. Routine parasite prevention and proper grooming practices can help reduce the risk of certain diseases and maintain overall health. Lifestyle adjustments Depending on the condition, lifestyle adjustments may be necessary.